Thanks for staying with us. We're being joined by Comrade Kolapo Joshua Olatunde, who is the NLC Chairman of Ekiti State. Good morning and welcome to the program, Mr. Olatunde. My brother, good morning. Okay, uh, we we'll just want to look at um, uh, 1st of May, which is Workers' Day. Um, what are we expecting this year's Workers' Day? There's been a lot of talk about the fact that uh, maybe the NLC is going to announce a, a new minimum wage expectation on May 1st. So let us know what the expectations are for the celebration of 1st of May this year. Thank you very much. First and foremost, we have to return our glory to God for keeping us among the living. And the essence of celebration is to one, thank God, and to look back the memory lane. What have we done right? What are the other things that we need to amend? Then three is to um, make a request known to our employer, the government this time around. And by the special grace of God this year, our expectations are not far from what I have said. One, two, thank God to celebrate ourselves. Because if you don't blow your own trumpet, nobody will blow it for you. But for the fact that you are still living, cause you no know, for celebration. So at this junction, I want to congratulate all workers in Nigeria, workers in Africa, and workers all over the world for witnessing this year's midday. As to our expectation, you have mentioned it uh, already. The subsidy has been withdrawn and um, wage award is online. It will soon roll off. And what we are expecting is increment you know, in the salary. And um, you will agree with me that the five years um, for the 130,000 minimum wage will expire this, this month. So come any moment from next month, we are due for new wage. And we are looking forward to federal government. You no. Know, to make the pronouncement. The negotiation has ongoing, and we know for sure that uh, Nigeria workers will have a cause to smile. We don't want a situation whereby something that is not commensurate with the price of commodity in the market you know, will be announced. It is done, whether workers may not like it, but I know for sure that uh, the government, the employer, will equally like you know, to do the needful for workers in Nigeria. Yeah, but the government will not, may not do exactly as the NLC is asking. What is the NLC asking for? At some point, we heard a million naira as a minimum wage. Sometimes they say it's uh, uh, 250 or 300,000. Some time it was 650 or so, or thereabout. What is the stand of NLC regarding this minimum wage? What are they asking for? A negotiation. The principle of negotiation, you have to start from top. You don't start from the boot up. And as such, we are in the 30,000 minimum wage now. Nobody will say if you want to negotiate, you start from 30,000 again. <gasps> and therefore, that is why NSC is asking for 600,000 minimum wage. And if you look at the price of commodity in the market, you will agree with me that even at 600,000, if time is not taken, it may not be able to take you home. The price of fuel, the price of rice, the price of diesel, uh, the accommodation in Lagos, Port Harcourt, and in Abuja. You know, it's on the high side. And you don't negotiate for people in Port Harcourt, Abuja, Lagos separate. You negotiate everything together, and as such, we have to start from where from top, where it's substantial. Then government now now be trying to drag it down, things like that. And we come out with a data. This is how much this goes for. This is how much that one goes for. And as such, to make any meet, you know, you have to give workers what can actually take them home. You know that 30,000 minimum wage is nothing to write to me about at all now. It's not even sufficient to take workers to place of work in a time like this. So we are looking up to federal government, to other employers, that they too will do the needful. If at the end of the day, what is released is not commensurate, the labor will not... Uh, I'll be pleased with it, but I know for sure that we have the federal government, I think that is reasonable, that will do the needful, and that is our expectation. Yeah, but what if they don't do what you're expecting them to do? Because I, I understand from all the um, agitations, uh, from all the, the, the fight of labor, I know that some agreements were reached 
as far back as 2009 until now, some of this, these agreements have not been met. So what if this time they still fail to give you what you are expecting or at least something really close to what you are expecting? It here continues. Yeah, continues. Struggle continues. And that is the basis. We can't hear you anymore. No. I don't know if... Yes. From me, 86 as a result of you know, working for 24-7. And at the end of the day, in 1890, we were able to uh, get eight hours working day. So struggle continues, but I know for sure that the government of Nigeria will you know, have a cost to listing, you no know, to work as vis a vis the price of commodity in markets. Uh, you don't need an angel or a prophet to tell you now that your take home must be this. Because if you buy fuel now at the rate of, say, for more than 700 naira per liter, uh, you want to fill your tank, there is no way you won't fill it more than 50,000. And depending on where you are working, there is no way you will fill your tank twice. Some may even fill it four times. If the capacity of your tank uh, takes 50,000 uh, Naira um, to fill your tank, and you have to fill it uh, four times you know, in a month, that's 50 times four. That costs you already 200,000 Naira without feeding, without accommodation, without powering. Um, Mm. Uh, other bills. Okay. What are we talking about? So just just before we go, I'd like so to just continues. Yeah, if I'd like to just pick your mind on. on I wouldn't like to preempt them. I know that government will actually camp the aid of workers because workers are the engine room of development. If workers are not taken care of, there won't be any form of development. Mm. When you place workers. They will pray for the nation. They will work for the nation. And the nation will move forward. We are not moving forward today as a result of workers that are not being taken care of. That is the truth of the matter. Take care of the workers. Let them be happy. And you see how the nation no, will move forward. Okay, let me just pick your mind. Our, our time is actually up now, but um, we still have like a minute. Um, apart from just the money that you're talking about, the minimum wage and all that, there was some kind of intervention. The government said they will reduce the working hours for a lot of workers, especially those in the government's employ, uh, three days in a week. And because they said the economy is really biting on the people. Now, governments are returning workers to five days in a week. Uh, and is that still on the table of the NLC, or you're just let, going to let it go, even though the economic situation has not improved, uh, but now, your workers will be going back to work five days in a week like they used to go to before that small uh, intervention came. It's not commensurate on what is on the table. If the essence of workers is to work and bring productivity, why are you therefore reducing the number of times they work per week? It means that we don't even know what we are doing at all. If you go to work and you are productive, why reducing the number of Instead, give them what it takes. Give them the, the, the money that will take them to their place of work so that they can work effectively and be productive mm. and, and move the nation forward, especially in the area of economy. But you now reducing the time of their work, it means that indirectly we don't know what they are doing. I don't think that is the solution. The solution is give them what is expected of them to perform at the maximum. Mm. Uh, look at other political office holder. Can you compare uh, the take home of workers who, who are toiling day and night with that of senator, with that of rep, with that of top top political office holder? Do we have different markets? We go to the same market. That is the truth of the matter. Uh, the earlier we come to this realization, the better for us. And um, mm. at this point in time, I want to encourage um, the federal government, the state government, and the local government to look inward and place workers where they belong so that they will be able to work assiduously to give our nation, to put our nation into where we're supposed to be in the area of economy. And it is there we move forward. If you look at the world, 
Their workers have been adequate in for the different policies to make life easy for workers have been put in place. You don't need to have the old money before you build house. Housing programs are there. You don't need to have the cash before you get a car. The car loan, so okay. they are there. You don't even need to have a... So all those policies are supposed to be put in place you no, know, for <laughs> workers to be able to work you know, at the maximum of their capacity okay. for them, for us to build a nation of our dream. Okay. Yeah, my eyes on you. Uh, well, our eyes are on the workers right now. We're hoping that uh, everything works out well for you. And we're wishing you a happy Workers' Day in advance uh, when you do celebrate on the 1st of May. Thank you so much, Comrade, for coming on the show this morning. Thank you very much. I want to say Aluta, Continua, Victoria, Asata, right. Solidarity for everyone. Okay, thank you. We've been talking to Comrade uh, Kolapo uh, Joshua Olatunde. He's the NLC chairman of Ekiti State. He was talking to us about what they're expecting and if there's going to be any announcement on the 1st of May, which is Workers' Day. This is where we'll wrap it up on the show this morning. We'd like to say thank you to you for being a part of our show. Uh, let's do it again tomorrow morning. My name is Nyamgul Agaji. Bye for now. <laughs>